What's happening everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted a video, but I've been working on a web application for the past eight months or so. And I'm really excited to show you guys what I've been working on. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So here's the application that I've been working on. You can visit it at devplace.io. If you have seen my previous video, you know that I built this free resume builder under yourfreeresume.com that allows you to create resumes for free. Similar to that, I've created this devplace.io. It's a platform that allows you to build portfolios within minutes for free. And here is what the landing page looks like. I have breakdown of all the feature that this platform offers and I do have a bunch of developers already using it and giving me some good feedback. So I've made a lot of changes to this already. So now let's go ahead and let me show you the platform itself. So I'll click on get started. Now there are multiple ways you can log into this platform. You can either sign in with Google or you can enter in your email address. For me, I'll just sign in with the email address and I've implemented password less authentication. So I'll just use this email for now. And after you hit sign in and you'll get a link in your email that you can use to basically sign in to the app. So I'll click on sign in and this is what the app looks like once you're logged in. So you'll have a bunch of templates that are pre-built for you i'll add more templates as we go along uh, but for now we have three templates that i would like to show you guys so this is template one if i click next this is template two and i know the styling is a bit wonky because i'm still working on this and i rec i just recently moved from aws to Vercel and also uh, adapted a new css framework because of that the styling is a bit broken but i'll fix that very soon and this is the third template so now let's say once you decide on the template that you like so for example my personal favorite is this one so i'll click on this and i'll click on select this template once you select that template you'll come to this editor page now on this editor page, you can change all the content that you want. So you can change this messaging. You can change this. My name is Jane Doe to my name is Akash Devgan. And you see the styling, there are styling issues on the input as well, but I'm actively fixing all the issues. So once you're satisfied with all the changes, right? Uh, you do have the ability to also add your own projects here and uh, and you can add your experience and every template offers you different sections. So what I'm planning to do in the future is have ability to add sections on its own. So for example, this template does not have a section to let's say showcase uh, your certificates, for example, that you have. So in the future, I'll add a option here that says sections and you will be able to add multi select those sections and insert those into the template. And you have the skills section here clicking on that all skills you can add Vue.js, whatever skills you have basically and then it'll show up on the template uh, if you look on the left hand side these are all the options available currently so let's go through each one the first one on the list is template map it it's a map of how the template is structured let's say you, you don't like a certain section so let's say i don't like this section it allows you to hide it when you are in the editor mode and you click on this eye icon to to hide that section it won't hide it completely because you're you're in the editor mode but it'll just reduce the opacity but once the site goes live this section will not be there along with this it gives you the ability to also move sections up and down so let's say you want the project section to be below experience section so you can click on this four arrow icon and click and drag and this will move the experience section above and the project section below and now if I go back, you have the ability to change logo. You have the ability to also add your social uh, icons. So if you see in the footer, you have these uh, social icons so I can add my email address. Let's say if there is a particular platform that you do not want to show. So for example, Twitter, you can click on this 
icon and it will hide it from here and as i'm mentioning again there are minor styling tweaks that i need to fix because i recently moved from some i was using semantic ui react but i'm moving away from that so i'm in between the transition but all these styles will be fixed very soon uh, so i just showed you uh, how to add the social icons but now let's move on to analytics so uh, a lot of the times if you have a portfolio you want to track like how many users or how many uh, visitors you get on your portfolio so this allows you to do that you can enter your google tag manager code here and then in your tag manager you can add all types of uh, tracking scripts so it's pretty flexible in that sense and then you have seo you can change the title description keywords uh, of your of your website so test akash devgan test description and you don't have to hit save every time you make a change it'll automatically save the changes for you so the best thing about this platform is this subdomain part subdomain part it allows you to select a subdomain of your choice and it'll be free to pick currently i have not implemented a, f a functionality where you can attach domains so for example i can enter akash and then it will check the availability of that subdomain so check availability it says subdomain is available and now i can hit apply once i hit apply you can see the current url portfolio url is akash.devplace.com io but it's not currently live because we have not published it yet so i'll click on publish site and uh, and this is where the magic happens once you click on publish site you can copy this portfolio url put it in the browser hit enter and it'll show up yeah for some reason i changed the name earlier but it did not change so i had to change it again but if you see now it says my name is akash devgan you can customize the image uh whatever content skills and this is how you can have a portfolio within few minutes now the reason behind creating this tool is i wanted such a tool for myself like i have a portfolio online and it's very important for programmers or web developers in particular to have portfolios online when you are applying for jobs it helps but uh, my portfolio currently is under akashdevgan.com and i did get lazy updating this like i haven't updated this since ages cuz there is no cms attached to this so i have to manually make the changes in the code and then push it and then deploy it and all that jazz but with this i can make changes within minutes so there is no reason for me not to have a to date portfolio and it's free you will not get char charged to host a portfolio here and i'm planning to add a lot more features in the future uh, so for example some of the things that i would love to add is integration with open ai apis so you can generate all this content automatically without having to type it out one of the other things that i want to add is sections called plugins that you can used to let's say add certain features let's say if you want to add a chat box to your portfolio you will be able to do that using the plugins feature and all that is down the line there is still a lot of work to be done here uh, but yeah this is what i have so far i'm not going to go into too much details on how uh, what technologies i used to build it but uh, this is 8 months worth of work so far and i'm currently transitioning from one framework to another one so that's why there are some styling issues here and there but i'll fix those up very soon feel free to use it give me some feedback in the comments let me know if there is any particular thing you would like me to change or add here and just to mention it again this is not in perfect shape right now there are still a lot of issues that i need to fix and including some functional issues some db issues and and styling issues but i think this is good enough for now to be to be used uh, that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, let me know what you think in the comments below i'll see you guys on the next one